Philadelphia is a sports town, a place revered by the hometown crowd and bashed by the opposition. We have seen athletes come and go. Same goes for the fields where they play. Connie Mack, JFK Stadium, the Spectrum, all places that gave our teams home field advantage, but perhaps none lives on with more tales and tradition like this one. I feel full of memory. I was there more than I was any place I had ever lived. April 10th, 1971. It was the first game at Veteran Stadium, Mike DiMuzio's first day of work. Well, I was a senior at Bishop Newman High School. Growing up in South Philly, it was the pride of the neighborhood. And when Veteran Stadium had been built and opened in 1971, it was, by the standards of the time, considered a state-of-the-art stadium. Yes, a home, not just for the Phillies, but the Eagles, too. They wanted a stadium, like a lot of other cities, that had football and baseball. It was cookie-cutter. I have nothing but uh, good things reminding me of, of uh, my baseball career at the vet. Many iconic moments happened at Veterans Stadium, and perhaps the biggest moment was the finish to the 1980 World Series. The vet was a model of magic goodbye and misery i never sat in the 700 level thank goodness it may have been built out of solid concrete but towards the end the incident started piling up march 21st 2004 one final goodbye three two Very emotional. It's the only, only ballpark I ever knew. Former Eagle and NBC10 anchor Vi Sikahema remembers it well. You know, it was that time had passed, and here we were, and it was, it was just incredible. Times that give you the feel of Philadelphia. There are memories that, uh, you know, a wrecking ball can't erase. Matt Delusha, NBC10 News.